Hello everyone, this is your instructor Farwa Batool and welcome to the course of O-Level Computer Science. Okay, so we were studying the topic of hexadecimals and inside that we are looking the conversions, right? So in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can convert a positive binary number or a decimal number into a hexadecimal one, right? So here I am going to share two examples with you. First example would be from your book and the second would be from past paper, right? So moving towards the first example, okay, before that, let me recap what are hexadecimal numbers, right? Any number that are being represented in these 16 digits, what are these? From 0 to 9 and from A to F, right? So these are the 16 uh, alphanumeric digits that are being used in this hexadecimal number system and for these a to f we are having numeric values like a b c d e f they can be represented in terms of binary values or in terms of integers as a equals to one zero uh, b one zero one one 1, 2, it is 13, it is 14, it is 15, right? So this is how we can uh, represent these alpha alphabets in terms of numbers, right? For the purpose of calculation. Okay, so let me take my example number one. That is, I have a binary number that is 2004. And I need to convert this number into a hexadecimal one. Okay, so to convert this number into hexadecimal, what I need to do? The very first is step is take LCM by 16, right? And the second thing we need to remember is write the remainders in each step, okay? You need to take LCM by 16 and you need to write the remainders in each of these steps, right? So let me do the working over here. Let's suppose I have a number 2004, right? So let me take LCM by 16. Okay. 16, once a 16, this is 20. 20 minus 16 would be 4. This 4 would be a carry to this. Then 16, 2 is a 32, this is 40. 40 minus 32 would be 8. This 8 would be a carry to this, this is 84. Then 16, 5 is a 80 and 80 minus 84 would be 4. So what is the remainder over here? I have a 4 remainder, right? So uh, this is my first uh, answer for the LCM now. Taking another or taking uh, again dividing it by 16 until I get a zero right so 16 uh, uh, 125 16 sevens are 112 right so 125 minus 112 it would be 13 right so what is the remainder 13 okay now what is next 16 zeros are 16 Sorry, 16 zeros is 0. What would be remainder? Remainder is 7, right? So what I have done, I have taken LCM by 16 and I have written remainder in each of this step because this is my important step. I need to write the remainders. Okay, now after that, what I need to do, I need to convert these numbers into hexadecimals. Or I can do it as this 4 in hexadecimal notation would be equal to 4. It won't be converted. Then this 13 would be equivalent to what? It would be equivalent to this D, right? So this 13 would be equal to D and this 7 would be 7, right? So I have represented these remainders in terms of hexadecimal digits. Now, what's next? My hexadecimal number has almost calculated or almost uh, I found that number what I need to do last I have to write the, these remainders in a reverse order I mean from lower to upward position like I have to write 7 first the last one then moving towards upward then I have D then I have 4 
right? So this is my required 7D4, right? This is my 7, sorry, I just tried it below, 7, 4, D, right? I think it is visible now. So this is the required hexadecimal equivalent for this 2004, right? So this is how we have converted a di binary or a decimal number into a hexadecimal one. Okay, let me repeat step first, uh, steps again. I have done nothing over here, just taken LCM by 16 until I get a zero, okay? So second would be I have written the remainders at each of these steps, right? And after doing the LCM, what I have done, I have converted these digits into their hexadecimal form, right? And after that, I have just written these remainders in a reverse manner from lower to upward, right? 74D is my required hexadecimal number. Okay, now let me share a past paper example with you so that you can be more clear about it, about the conversion, okay? Okay, so here we go. This is the example of past paper, October, November, 2016, right? So let's see the question. A manufacturer of aeroplane injures assigns a dinary identification number ID to each engine. One engine has the ID 0431. Okay, so here we have a manufacturer, right, of aeroplane engines and he assigns an ID to each engine, right? So one of the engine ID has been shared with us, that is 0431, right? Now, show how this number would be represented in a hexadecimal one, right? So it's a dinary identification number. It is in dinary form or a decimal number, and we need to convert it into a hexadecimal. Nothing difficult. What we need to do, we just need to uh, revise the steps that, that I have already taught you, okay? So, step number one, take an LCM by 16. What is my number? 0, 4, 3, 1. This 0 means nothing, right? Okay, 16. Uh, 16, 2 is 32, right? What would be the remainder? 11. 43 minus 32 would be 11 and 111. One, one. It is 111. Then 16, 6, 96, right? And 111 one, one minus 96 would be 15, right? So what would be the remainder over here? 15. 15 would be the remainder, right? Next. 16, 1 is a 16, and what would be the remainder? 4 and 6, 10, right? 10 would be the remainder, and 16, 0 is a 16, and what would be the remainder? 1, right? So we need to take LCM until we get a 0 over here, and after that, what we need to do? We need to convert these remainders in terms of hexadecimal digits. So what are these? This 15 will be equivalent to what? It is equivalent to this F, right? In hexadecimal number system, this 10 is equal to A. And this 1 is will remain the same, 1. So what is the hexadecimal number? We need to write these remainders in, uh, in an upward direction right starting from this one the lower one that is one then i have a then i have f right so this is my hexadecimal number that i need to find in this quotient right so it's a three marks quotient and one marks is assigned to each of these digits, right? This one carries one marks, this A carries one marks, and this F carries one marks. So if you find a wrong hexadecimal digit, you will lose your one marks, right? So this is that much important. Okay, so thank you so much. I hope this question is clear, this conversion is clear to you people. 
and thank you so much for watching the video and in the next video we are going to see that how you can convert a binary number into a hexadecimal and vice versa right so thank you so much for watching the video your feedbacks will be highly appreciated please share these videos to other students as well so that we can help each other right so thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video